The story of migration is all our story. Because once upon a time, we were all migrants. Although the word migrant has come to be viewed negatively in many contexts, human movement has occurred throughout history for reasons such as trade, education, work, and love. But also because of conflict, human rights abuse, climate change, or one of the biggest forced migrations of people in our history, the transatlantic slave trade. Over the last 20 years, some politicians and media have portrayed migrants as a threat. But migration is often misrepresented and misunderstood. It is not the biggest challenge facing the world. Consistently, over the past 20 years, more than 96% of the world's population has not migrated. The bigger challenge facing the world is rising inequality. Those in poverty may be earning more, but since 1980, the richest 1% of people grabs twice as much income growth as the poorest 50%. And while income inequality varies between countries, it is steadily increasing everywhere. Income inequalities shape decisions to migrate, along with other inequalities such as religion, race, and gender. And there are also inequalities in the right to travel without a visa. When the focus is only on migration, these inequalities are ignored. There is a complex relationship between migration and inequality. Migration can be a consequence of inequality as well as a cause. Migration can reduce inequalities, but it can also increase them. And the inequalities associated with migration have been amplified by COVID-19. There are many important pages missing from the current story of migration. Dominant migration narratives often focus on people who move from the global south to the global north. But migration between the countries of the global south accounts for nearly half of all international migration, up to 70% of all migration in some places. Some people worry that there are limited resources and that migrants will come in and steal jobs. But in reality, migrants make significant economic and social contributions in many countries, such as South Africa, where studies show that migrants contribute considerably to the economy, paying more taxes and increasing employment for the native-born population. Dominant migration narratives focus on where people move to, but not why they move. They focus on the impacts on the countries where people move to, but not on the impacts on the countries where they move from. They focus on the people who move rather than on those left behind or those who return. And they focus more on the impacts of migrants on countries than the social, economic, political, technological, and environmental impacts of countries on migrants and their decisions. Historically, the story of migration has largely been written by politicians, media, and researchers in the global north. Which means the story of migration reflects the perspectives of the global north. It's time to decolonize this narrative. It's time to rip up the story and write a new one based on new questions, new concepts, and new ideas. One that focuses on migration in the global south and is written with people living and working in the global south. And one that puts reducing inequalities at the heart of the story. MIDEC is a south-south migration inequality and development hub. We are a network of partners focusing on six migration corridors, Egypt and Jordan, 
Ethiopia and South Africa, Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire, China and Ghana, Haiti and Brazil, and Nepal and Malaysia, which allows us to examine the complex relationship between origin and destination countries. We want to better understand the relationships between migration and inequality in the global south. We want to change the story of migration to begin to decolonize migration research and make it more inclusive. Researchers in the global south will define their own research questions, generating new knowledge and ideas, producing robust and accessible evidence on the relationships between migration, inequality, and development in the global south. They will bring this knowledge to local, national, and international organizations, including those led by migrants themselves, who can act as amplifiers to create real change and reduce the inequalities associated with migration. There are still many pages to be filled and much for us to learn in the years to come. To discover more and to add your voice to this new story, please visit www.mybeck.org. Together, we will write a new story about the relationship between migration and inequality and help improve the lives of migrants, their families and communities in the global south.